Hello, I'm Rachel Jones for Kalkai Media and I welcome you to Executive Corner Expert Talks. Today I'm speaking with Ken Hancock. Now Ken is Managing Director and CEO of RLF AgTech. They're a crop nutrition company powered by technology but inspired by the earth. Their tech enables farmers to grow higher yielding, better quality and more nutritious produce while increasing the sustainability of soil health. Here to tell us more is Ken. Welcome, Ken, and good to chat with you today. Great. Thanks for having me, Rachel. Pleased to be here. Now, first off, could you tell us a little more about RLF and what you do? Yeah, so at RLF uh, AgTech, we're a, uh, we're a specialist in uh, the area of crop nutrition, and so advancing crop yields and quality uh, in a range of uh, uh, crops. In, in fact, about half of our market's made up of the big uh, grain crops around the world, wheat, grass and maize, and about half our market is horticulture and um, uh, um, fruits, vegetables, and also we do have uh, part of our market being in the cotton sector. And what can you tell me about your unique plant proton delivery technology and how that helps to increase crop yield? Yeah, so we're a, um, in terms of our PPD tech, this is uh, technology that we developed uh, in uh, here in Australia, and we've been exporting that uh, technology into into a number of markets around the world. Um, what we worked out in our research was that actually uh, uh, soil applied fertilizer and chemical fertilizers that are, that are used in the soil are actually, whilst they've been economic for a number of years, they're they're actually very inefficient in terms of getting nutrient into the into the crop. And uh, so, over many over many decades now, what we've continued to do is increase these fertilizer applications to keep food up to the population. Um, there's a couple of real, really large problems with that uh, moving forward, and one is uh, one's linked to uh, it reduces the, the economics for the for the grower uh, because of these increasing uh, applications, and also then we have large environmental impacts uh, around high rates of chemical fertilizer in the soil. So with our PP or our plant protein delivery technology, we look to bypass the soil and focus on um, providing uh, targeted nutrition through the seed and the leaf of the crop to increase yields in the range of 10 to 30 percent, which is uh, really major gains in our, in our sector. Now we know that most farming today does rely on these high rates of chemical fertilizers and as you say they are downgrading our soils. How can you help to reverse this damage? Yeah so firstly um, one of the really important keys is uh, we can uh, in our research we've been able to identify that we can reduce these granular fertilizer inputs by up to 20 percent because of the very direct um, improvements we get by feeding the crop directly through the, the uh, seed and the leaf and and uh, bypassing some of those limitations that are in the soil so um, we supply a lot of the critical micronutrients sorry micronutrients things like zinc copper manganese boron molybdenum to the crop these are expensive but they're also difficult uh, for the growers to to get um, via the soil in, in many circumstances. So um, by um, reducing uh, fertilizer inputs and increasing yield at the same time, we can have a significant impact to the, uh, the farmers' operations. But if you think about it on a macro level and a, and a global perspective, um, there's enormous energy and emissions around uh, fertilizer and energy use in emissions and uh, in their manufacture and also their application. So, where we can be more efficient uh, using our technology and reducing those applications, I think we can have a really big impact on agriculture. And obviously it's your area of expertise, but how important is it for farmers to keep up to date with technology to help optimise their crops? Look, I think it's very important and no more important than now. Uh, we're going through um, the stage, uh, you know, certainly that we've seen in the last 12 months, whilst uh, commodity prices are very healthy for the growers and we you know we've seen some record wheat prices or or wheat prices that we haven't seen since 2008. Uh, we've had um, you know we've got very high cotton prices we've got high beef prices so everything's great on in terms of the growing but also um, we have in the last 12 months seen large increases in input costs everything from uh, fertilizer through to chemicals used in agriculture we've had big increases in in freight. Um, our you know, we have a strong belief that um, in the, you know, 
part of the a big part of the future of agriculture it's been far more efficient taking out these inefficiencies around things like nutrient use uh water use is another big one and being more efficient with these you know very important inputs um and so our technology is very much designed to uh increase that that efficiency and translate it ultimately through to to yield and profitability for, for our customers now, Ken, if we can turn to your upcoming IPO, very excitingly, yeah. you're set to list quite soon. What do you intend to use the funds raised for? That's right. Well, uh, most of the uh, um, the funds that we're raising at IPO is really to increase our distribution. So it's very sales orientated, uh, revenue uh, orientated IPO. We've done, uh, we've already done enormous amounts of um, R and D uh, over many years in our business. We've done more than a thousand field trials to prove up uh, the technology in a range of different cropping environments, whether it be here in uh, Australia in some you know very hard, harsh mar marginal conditions, dry conditions, through to uh, you know uh, uh, high rainfall markets in Asia, um, North America. We've got trial work going on in the US and, and uh, Brazil at the moment. So what we want to do is uh, you, Australia represents about one percent of the global nutrition market. So for us, it's important to have a, 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 a global approach and an international um, approach. So the funds that we're raising are really focused on uh, increasing our distribution platform. Uh, we've already got a significant platform in Asia that we want to uh, really celebrate uh, growth in a range of different markets. And farmers do face such adverse conditions, obviously from fires to floods that we're seeing currently. What do you believe is the future of farming and how important is ag tech? Yeah, so uh, I think it's very important. We, you know, we know we need 70% more food out of um, uh, around the world over the next uh, 30 years. So that's a very significant increase. We don't have a lot more arable hectares to do it in. So we need technology uh, and the growers need technology to um, increase yield, but do it in a more environmentally responsible way than has been done in the past. And also, um, in addition to that, be able to build the carbon in their soils. And a lot of our customers are now, um, particularly here in Australia, they, they've got opportunity to monetize the carbon in their soil, which is something they haven't historically uh, uh, had. And that's done you know, by the, the soil carbon projects in the NRF here. Um, so, uh, you know, we see um, the big opportunity in, in ag in terms of providing technology for growers that is easily incorporated into their current systems to improve the not only the yields but the quality of the, the food we're eating and, and also, in, you know, improve the return on investment whilst doing it in a way that really helps the environment. So, um, you know, there's uh, a lot of the technology that's being used today in, in fertiliser is, you know, 80 to 100 years old. That's that's the facts of it. And so, uh, you know, uh, you know, in our uh, business, we're really looking to, to bring that new technology and better methods to the growers. Well, Ken, it's been great chatting with you today. Best of luck for the IPO. Thanks for your time, Rachel. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, I will sign off for now. But stay apprised and invest wise with Kalkine.